Good evening and welcome to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Steve Shear, sitting in for Jeffrey Davis. We have another great show tonight, as, as we always do. And we have a return guest we haven't seen for a while, or heard from a while, Greg Stoller. He's now a guest senior lecturer at Boston University. Greg, welcome back. Thank you very much, Stephen. It's good to be back. Excellent. So tell us, it's 2016. You're at BU now. What's going on? I'm very excited to be at BU. Uh, it's at the Question School of Business. It's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I just found out a few days prior all of the international uh, exposure work that we've been doing at Boston College has now been officially approved at Boston University. So I'm pleased to let you know and the listeners know that I'll be taking BU students to Hong Kong and Beijing, China uh, in March uh, to meet with uh, at least 10 different companies about their business practices. And also in March, we'll begin recruiting students for the next edition of the MBA International Consulting Project where my client is a boutique strategy consulting firm in Beijing. We do work for their clients who are publicly traded and privately held Chinese firms. So we'll start that analytical work in June and uh, expect to bring BU Western students over to Beijing in January of 2017. Now obviously you're going back to Asia, which you used to do frequently for BC. How does this program, or does it differ at all from the BC days? Uh, BU, especially Questrom, is a wonderful place. Right. And again, I had a terrific 15 years at Boston College, so I don't want to compare A versus B and right. be accused of casting aspersions, right. aspersions at anybody. I'm very happy, and uh, we all left with our heads high, etc., right. from BC. But BU is just a really uh, dynamic place. It has a ton of resources. People have been incredibly supportive. Uh, I love our students. I love the diversity in our students. And I just love the fact that vis-a-vis -vis, you know, what we're talking about at Radio Entrepreneurs, that it has such an international flair to it. So the program is similar to, to BC. I'm not saying one is better than the other. Is Correct. It? It, it is similar in the sense that, like uh, Boston College, mm -hmm. they have a full-time MBA right. program and an evening MBA program that BU refers to as PEMBA. They also have an executive uh, EMBA program uh, and do a lot of executive education that Boston College didn't do as much in. And of course, you have a very vibrant BU undergraduate population. Most of the work I did at Boston College was on the graduate side. Right. So this is my first experience in a while. I have taught undergrads in the past, but this is my first experience in a while teaching undergrads at BU, ah. and I love it. It's just absolutely fantastic. Obviously, there's a difference between undergrads and grads, I, I, I can imagine. Right? Correct, right. I mean, just to give you a flavor, and I think this particular class that I taught in the fall semester was a little bit skewed. I think it was luck of the draw, but of the 30-odd students that I had, something like 20 or 25 of them were from outside the United States. Really? So I think that, in general, that's probably even high by, by, by BU standards. Wow. But the fact of the matter is it's directionally correct that there are just a ton of international students running around, and I love it, and I absolutely love it. And of course, our grad students are terrific as well. So tell us again, you haven't been on in a while, explain the whole process you're going overseas, what, what, what the schedule is going to be like. Sure, absolutely, you, absolutely. Ha thank you, happy to do so. Yeah. So let's start with the upcoming March trip. Uh, this is an opportunity, uh, as I described to the students, mm -hmm. to kick the academic tires of international business. So I could talk for hours on end in a four-walled classroom about what it's like to do international business or international entrepreneurship or negotiate international uh, contracts, etc. I think it's a horse of a different color if you actually are going into the region and meeting with these executives directly and having the opportunity to prepare in Boston, then going over to meet with the executives and then thinking about it. Uh, after the fact, reflecting upon it, and then writing uh, a, a multi-page paper, et cetera. That's essentially the course. Whereas, and I think it's very complementary to study abroad programs. So people who have done study abroad traditionally will study in a single country. Mm -hmm. They might take trips to other countries on the weekend or on school breaks, and they might even do an internship, but most of it is usually a single country and at least one city, maybe two. This program in March is meant to be, as I said, complementary to that. It's two countries, uh, Hong Kong and China. It is multiple companies. We will set the students through, send the students through seven different preparatory sessions in the United States on campus. We will profile the 10 companies that we're going to be meeting with. Mm -hmm. The students will be assigned in pairs to become topic area experts and company experts and brief the rest of our team on who we're going to be meeting, what their history is, what sort of articles might have been published in the popular press. 
I will take them uh, during spring break to meet with these 10 companies and of course sightseeing along the way. Uh, we will come, of course, may we, uh, and then we will come back uh, after spring break and the students will then write a multi-page uh, research paper reflecting on their experience, etc. Greg, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how would they do that? Yes, uh, they can now use my new uh, BU email yeah, address. I'm excited to, excited to be able to share this with our listeners. That's gstaller at bu.edu. G is in Greg, S is in Sam, T is in Tom, O, L, L, E is in Edward, R is in Robert, at bu as in Boston University, dot edu.